Tell you, Xavier's got to be disciplined, chasing people off of screens. Another floater for Agnew, and we kick up top. Agnew fakes the three and knocks it home. And there's the impact Jalen Agnew can have on the ball game inside out. Jim Flannery this season and been a break spot. Filling in for some key impact injury players. There's Michael Parham going up and in from the right block. Nice job using up sharing duties with T. Owens. Is this three for Saunders is up and good, and a whistle after the shot. They'll count the basket. And a foul against the Musketeers. What, Saunders coming in, giving them. Comes up there for Saunders. Right over for Sarda. Nice transition defense there by the Musketeers. Agnew's not going to worry about it. She'll knock in another three. Her third of the afternoon. Three and three for behind the arc. You can't be late right now. She's a little bit, a little frustrated right now. But right now, this is when you focus on defense. This is when you focus on rebounding. Agnew Ooh. again for three. Great screen by Elger to give Agnew all kinds of time and sends a lead back to 10. All right. Ariana Gray at that down to drive it. Not comfortable. Bachelor, a little roll there for Agnew, and that shot's off the glass and good. Teamwork there for the Creighton Blue Jays. Right, tough shot, but they that's with a key to it. Keep fighting, keep following them. Right to Agnew off the inbound, in traffic, off balance falls. Nice concentration, splitting the defenders. Elger going inside, turn there for Agnew. An easy bucket, gotta make, two for Agnew. You got to make sure you can go get that steal. It's a passing around the perimeter. You get something going to the rim. Clear out here for Gray, spinning shot well off the mark, and a big rebound from Michael Parham. I really like that possession, just too much just passing around the rim, nothing going to it. It's a good look at a three. That is away and good for... Ball out for Agnew, going to work on Kerry Gross. Pulls her way in, gains contact, layup good, and Agnew to the free throw line. Agnew is, is a tough guard because you got you got you got a Crowder. She can shoot the three, but if you give her any angles, she's quick enough. You see, you get a little bit to the side, but watch her use her body just to give her a little bit of a push to get that thing up. Kerry Gross taking it with the foul, her second, fourth for Xavier. And Agnew working on a 24-point afternoon. This will be her first free throw. Knocks that home, completes the three-point play. Execute whatever they wanted to execute. Agnew to the corner, three away for Elger, and she connects again. Olivia Elger delivered. Saunders. Again, Creighton can run this motion offense, screening offense. And then just at some point when they fall asleep and you get a little bit of a window. Set good screens, lots of movement, patience. They lost Jalen Agnew, and Agnew going to lay it in on the left block. It's a little miscommunication right there on that switch. With all that. Agnew again gets free and a layup good. Got a couple of steps on Aliyah Dunn now twice. And it's a 70 goes here. On top. Down there, Peyton Brodsky. A three from the left wing is good and a foul. Great screen by Brodsky. Sarda was able to line it up, lock it down. 29 points here from you this afternoon. First of all, talk about how nice it was to get this victory. You were in a tight race. You were in seventh in the standings coming in, mm -hmm. trying to move up into that top four. Yeah, we knew this was a must win. Um, and so, you know, they told us this would have been, this could have been the biggest game of the year. And so we had to come out and play like it. And I think we did that today. What's the, what's the mindset so now going into the final stretch last weekend and in the tournament? What are, what are you guys kind of after the loss the other night? What's your thought process both individually and as a group? Um, definitely defense. I think defense was our um, big winner here today. And so just keeping that as a forefront in, in our minds um, just to carry on throughout the rest of the way. Talk about this game. You're coming back a little bit from concussion protocol. Looked very comfortable out there, not feeling any symptoms. It didn't look like at least this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been. I played last weekend, and so um, yeah, trying to kind of just getting back in the swing of things and just um, getting more comfortable out there. So yeah, that was that was today. And like I said, I think our defense kind of set the tone for us. So I think that that helped. Is that something that you guys take pride in because you are known as like three point shooters? You could stretch the floor, but I really was impressed. I thought you guys scout was good. You knew what you were going against. Is that something that you guys take pride in, um, individually and as a group? Yeah, we hadn't um, we hadn't played great defense the last couple games, and so 
Um, we really knew that today was going to be that was going to have to um, be on target, you know, to get this win. So, um, yeah, we talked about it yesterday, and we just fought today. And I think um, I think it helped out, helped for us for sure. Talk a little bit about offensively. You got some great ball movement in the second half. You broke away a couple of times for some easy layups. What was different maybe about the ball movement in the second half from the first? Yeah, I think we pushed the ball a lot more, and then we had um, a lot of more ball reversals, and so that um, created you know some miscommunication communication and then just found the open open person on cuts and stuff so rebounding they're a pretty big team mm -hmm. and i know the last time you guys played that you know you didn't play in that game but they kind of got you on the board tonight you guys put it to them mm -hmm. is that something you guys focused on talked about or just what's that look like yep it was defensive defense and rebounding were those two. two yep those are the two, <laughs> those are the two coaches so. those are on the board <laughs> yes <Okay>. exactly <laughs> top two so yeah so those are what we had to focus on so great stuff yeah all right, moving forward, you get the last two games at home here for the regular season. How nice of an advantage is that going to be? Are you cognizant of that and it give you a little extra energy maybe coming down the stretch? Yeah, it's nice to play your last game at home, you know, um, with senior night and stuff. And so I think that will give us a nice push going into um, conference tournament. That's Jalen Agnew with a big victory here for the Creighton Blue Jays on the road, 29 for Jalen this afternoon. So for our Big East Digital Network crew, the Hall of Famer Katie Smith, I'm Mike Schmaltz. Thanks for watching this afternoon. We'll see you back next time for women's basketball on the Big East Digital Network presented by SOPA.